Argentina, under the leadership of President Javier Millet, is gearing up to issue an emergency decree aimed at establishing a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency service providers. In, es una locura, es un delirio arrogarse de un representante del pueblo más que el propio pueblo. Es un delirio, es el delirio en el que vive la casta política. This initiative stems from the country's desire to avoid landing on the gray list of the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, primarily due to previous concerns regarding lax money laundering policies. Under the proposed decree, all cryptocurrency service providers operating within Argentina's jurisdiction would be required to register with the National Securities Watchdog, the CNV. Additionally, these entities, even if headquartered outside Argentina, would need to obtain a license from the CNV to continue operations. The decree mandates compliance with anti-money laundering laws, necessitating the submission of risk reports and reporting of suspicious transactions to the National Intelligence Unit. The impending visit by the FATF to assess Argentina's anti-mundering laundering measures has expedited the government's regulatory efforts. By implementing stringent regulations, Argentina aims to demonstrate its commitment to combating financial crimes associated with cryptocurrencies, thus bolstering its standing on the global stage. Also in Latin American news, BitGet, a prominent crypto exchange headquartered in Seychelles, has announced plans to expand its presence in Latin America. As one of the top 15 largest crypto exchanges globally, BitGet is strategically targeting the burgeoning Latin American market. In its expansion endeavors, BitGet intends to cater to novice cryptocurrency enthusiasts in the region by offering user-friendly tools and features, including copy trading. BitGet aims to simplify portfolio management and investment processes for indi individuals new to the crypto space. Copy trading allows users to replicate the trading strategies of experienced investors, thereby potentially enhancing their investment outcomes. Maximiliano Hins, BitGet's growth lead for Latin America, envisions significant growth opportunities in the region. BitGet plans to double its employee count in Latin America from 80 to 160 over the next two years, underscoring its commitment to expansion and market penetration. Argentina's forthcoming cryptocurrency regulations signal a proactive stance toward mitigating financial risks associated with digital assets. Concurrently, BitGet's expansion into Latin America underscores the region's growing significance in the global cryptocurrency landscape. While some countries like Honduras opt for stringent prohibitions, others seek to foster a regulated environment conducive to innovation and investor protection.